All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to invite people using the CSV import option in Uscreen. Now, normally to invite people, you're just gonna to go to this people tab and then click on invite people. And we'll do the same for this option, except down here is where you upload that CSV. Normally, you're just typing someone's name in here and their email address, and then you would click invite at the bottom, and this email will go out to that person. We will import um, a CSV file here. We'll just actually download the sample one first, and then we'll open that. And you'll note that there's no headers here. So when you do, are doing this import, just strip out your headers. And then the first name and the last name are joined into a single column. So if you're trying to import um, a spreadsheet where there exists a first name column and a last name column, you need to concatenate or join those columns together. Uh, so anyways, first name, last name joined together, and then email. It's just basically two columns here, and they need to be in that order as well. So just keep that in mind. But we'll click on Upload CSV here. And when you do that, you'll see exactly how many people are in your list. So just kind of match it up with whatever uh, number of rows you have, and you should be good to go there. Uh, a bit of warning, if you're doing more than 2,000 people here, uh, maybe reach out to our support team. Uh, this is typically something we can do in the background here, uh, just because this is a pretty heavy process. Just imagine you're sending actually 2,000 emails out to people. It's going to basically create a little bit of a queue, and it's going to slowly go through that, uh, sending those emails out one at a time to each person. So if you have, yeah, again, more than 2,000, just reach out to us and we can probably do that in the back end for you. And before you send it, just check out this email here. You're free to edit this however you like. Um, there's just two little parts here we don't really want you to mess with, and that would be the login section and the password section. This is gonna tell that person, here's the email that you need to use to log in, and then we're actually gonna generate a password for them and send that via email. Of course, they're free to change that as soon as they log in there. Uh, but other than that, you can kind of mess with the rest here. So hopefully that helps you out and let us know if you have any questions, uh, just reach out to our support team. Thanks.